Hey golfers, Tony with Reactionary Golf. Want to give you kind of a winterizing plan for your golf game. So if you can't get out because of the weather and practice, what are some things that you can do to ensure that you're ready to go for 2020? So first thing, this will do a series of these videos for you. First thing is to understand and get a feel for how to control this club on the takeaway. And that's probably the biggest thing. I want to make sure that your trail hand and trail arm, wrist and arm and hand, all have control of that golf club. That's priority number one. So what does that feel like? <coughs> so we're looking for this. So a good way to kind of just practice this. And again, you can do this indoors. We've got a mild day down here in Mississippi. So jumped outside. So getting your setup. And really what I'm looking for is this part of the takeaway. And where that club face needs to be, I like to see it a little bit toe down. I like to see that path staying, that face staying square to its path. So kind of a way to relate to it is if I'm holding the club up here, swinging it back, letting that trail wrist set, that's still toe up, but that's because I'm standing straight up. Now I get in my posture, and now when I swing it back, we see that position. So that's just keeping the face relatively square to its path. Some people, players don't like that. If it goes toe up and that's your preference, that's fine. Just know on the way down, we do have to get that club face square. We don't want a lot of rotation. So this is the first thing. Really master this with all your clubs. And because if, if you can get that part down, then everything else will be kind of much easier. You'll have less complication. That's what we're looking for. The backswing sets up a simple downswing reaction. The more complicated the backswing is, then the more work you have to do to realign things back down to here. So again, you can do it single-handedly. Just working on this. Make a fist with your lead hand and make that happen. So these are some things you can do indoors. You don't have to worry about ceiling height or anything else to start winterizing your game to get ready for 2020. So stay tuned. We can do, do a whole bunch of these little short tips to keep your game in shape for next year. Thanks for watching. If you want more detailed information, come and join us at InsideTheGolfLab.com. See ya.